Good morning. I thought I would give Periscope one more shot after my disastrous ones yesterday. I know a lot of people at work, but hopefully you can catch the replay later. Um, I've got to get all this set up for class, so that's why I needed to do it this morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Ashley. I appreciate it. Um, I got here early just so I could get this all set up. Good morning, good morning. Um, let me go ahead and introduce myself. Let me flip this around. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Lori, and I blog over at Live, Laugh, Love Second. I'm a teacher, a second grade teacher in Colorado Springs. I love teaching second grade. It's the only grade I've ever taught, and hopefully it's the only grade I'll ever teach. So um, we played this fun game yesterday. I was inspired by Hope at Elementary Shenanigans with her um, big Jenga. So I'm going to show you. Um, what we did, let me go ahead and flip this back around. Okay, so just to tell you what you need first, I bought some Jenga sets um, on clearance at Walmart for, I want to say about $7 each. I bought six sets because I have six tables. Good morning, guys. And um, all I did was I used my Mr. Sketch markers to just color in all the edges. It didn't take very long. Um, so I colored all six sets, just four colors, red, green, blue, and yellow. And the reason why is because I made colored cards for each one. Most of them are double digit, but some are triple digit. Um, some are regrouping, some aren't, because that's what we're learning right now. So I use this as a review game. So let me go ahead and show you how we played. Each kid could pick an answer sheet. They either got this answer sheet or they got this answer sheet. Now the reason is because this one, they could just use the standard algorithm on, the vertical one, but some of them prefer the arrow method, which is what we've been learning about in class as another uh, mental math strategy. So some of them chose this one as well. So how they played is the first kid would just pick a Jenga card. I'm sorry, a Jenga um, piece. So let's say I pick this yellow one right here. So I picked a yellow one, so I'm gonna grab a yellow card and I'm gonna show it to all of my teammates and everyone has to solve this problem right here on their answer sheet. So I would write down on my answer sheet 251 plus 238. Now one of my questions was, how am I gonna make sure that they're getting the correct answer? Well, it was pretty easy because they keep their answers covered until everyone at the table is done and then they compared. And if they had different answers, they had to figure out why, and then whoever had an incorrect answer would just um, correct their mistake, and then the next person would go. Now they would keep going, they would each take turns going around the table picking a block. Well, what would happen is they would fill up one complete category. So the rule was, if you had all four boxes filled up, you could no longer pick blue ones. You had to pick another color. Um, so that worked out really well. Um, once they had the whole card filled out, they were allowed to just finish playing until it toppled over, which usually wasn't very long after they pulled off 20 pieces. Um, so they really liked it. It was great practice for them. I was able to walk around and monitor them. I'll show you some student examples. This was one of the kids after they finished, and they just loved it, and they actually asked if we could play it again today before we took our test. So I think I'm gonna let them um, go ahead and play it again today. And then let me show you, only one of the groups started on um, the arrow method paper, but this is what it would look like when they started. So that's Jenga math. It was pretty easy, and I think I could use it in a lot of different content. I think I could use it um, for grammar practice and for reading, um, definitely for review in science and social studies. So it really is fun, and the kids loved it, and it was easy to set up, and they could clean it up. Um, so there you go. That's Jenga math. So thanks for tuning in early this morning. I hope you find a way to use that in your classroom. Um, you can always catch me over at the blog. I'm going to put up a blog post about it when I have time at live, laugh, love second dot blogspot dot com. Um, you can follow me at Facebook, live, laugh, love second, um, Periscope and Twitter is Lorianne McCoy. So hope you have a great day. Bye. Oops. Darn it.